Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, my dears? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is V Red and Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again for a bonus reading for the years in bonus. Okay, we're doing a little mixture of the tarot dice. Y'all know I don't use these that often, so this is a special treat. Um, and again, thank you guys for donating the tarot dice through the Amazon wish list. So we're going to be using the tarot dice today. And then I just received, oh Lord Jesus, now I can't even fix the damn thing back over there. And then I just received a new deck here, um, the Cosmic Slumber Tarot that you guys submitted as a Christmas gift. Thank you guys for all of the Christmas gifts that you guys have been sending to the page through the Amazon wish list and all of the cash donations. Thank you guys for all of the love that you guys have been sending throughout the year. It's been amazing and I am so very much th thankful for this deck. It is so beautiful. So this deck, look at the way the deck opens, you guys. Look at the way the box opens. Isn't this cute? This is cute. Got the cute little booklet in it and in the booklet it actually tells you when you read it that this deck has two bonus cards as bonus cards in this deck so this is a special treat to me again thank you guys for all of the christmas love and all of the you know love throughout the year i greatly appreciate it and i love this deck so i can't wait to use this today with you guys so um again we're about to get some years end guidance uh, thank you guys for clicking, like, and sharing, and subscribing to this video or any of my videos. Um, we're going to give um, a quick prayer, of course, like we always do. And if there's anyone that would like to contact me or send support of any type of shape, form, and fashion, check out the description in this video. Check out the About tab on my YouTube page. It gives the pricing list and how to contact me through Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Pisces, let's go ahead and just, you know, jump into the energy. Let's give God thanks first. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today collectively thank you so much for creating us and just putting us in such a positive and uplifting spirit we are definitely rejoicing in this winter solstice energy happy winter solstice to everybody and again father god we just coming in just before the day of your birth just to acknowledge you and just to thank you for walking through our life the way that you do father god we're here with praise and raised hand father god so continue to uplift us and gift us with your positive energy and your love that's all that we really be asking for we don't even really need nothing else anything else that you give us is a bonus in the name of jesus so Thank you so much for giving us this bonus energy. Um, please give us guidance for this year and going into 2021 when we're really about to have fun, Father God. Just give us the guidance that we've been looking for and that we need to create this positive energy going into this new adventure 2021. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right. So, let's get into a Pisces. We're going to be using the T cards today and the tarot dice and then we got two clarification decks just in case if we need it so let's get into this give me oh okay okay we got the torch spiritual development enlightenment awareness and understanding all right you've lit the torch you've lit the torch you got the handshake meeting with a stranger could be important so you have lit the torch spiritual developments and it looks like you're going to be shaking hands with a very important person so you guys pay attention to the new connections that you have okay let's see one more card from this deck please Whoop. what is that the bull do not back down from opposition show your strength and fortitude okay Stand up for yourself, Pisces. All right. All right. So let's see here. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. You guys are in the right place in your life. You guys are shaking hands. And it looks like you guys are not. You're not backing down. You're not taking no for an answer. If it's something that you really want, you're going for. You definitely feel like you're following like your inner guidance. You're picking up on the messages. You're understanding the signs. You guys are unplugged from the matrix. So pay close attention to new people that you make connections with. What's this? The carrot. 
opportunity or windfall. Okay, come on. Ooh. Lily, spiritual love. Okay. I'm reloaded. One more. Thank you. I'm liking this. Come on now, Pisces. What is this? The eye. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Pisces. Boop. Mm, and it definitely said over here the torch, the spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. And then you got the psychic eye, the psychic avail availability, and the spiritual love. You guys, are you guys feeling this? I'm trying to tell you it's more than what meets the eye. When you meet this new character, when you meet this new character, I'm trying to tell you. It's going to hit you. You have a keen eye for just feeling situations out and, you know, reading people's energy. It's going to be more than what meets the eye. And I'm trying to tell you, when you first see this person, you're going to know. You're going to know. So let's see. Let's use these little tarot dice here. Let me shake them up. Figure out which three I'm going to use here. Put the other side. So let's see. Clarify the torch, the handshake, and the bull. Don't back down for opposition. So even if you see a challenger around you and stuff, don't be scared. Do not be scared. You go for what you want. Clarify the torch, the handshake, and the bull. I just knew something was going to drop down. Okay. The Empress. Okay. You got the Knight of Cups. You got the Two of Swords. And then you got the Empress in the reverse. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. The Knight of Cups is basically telling me that they're moving on. The Knight of Swords is, there's definitely some opposition here. It could be from a kid's mother or something. And, you know, no offense, don't shoot the messenger. It's like someone that you don't want to be with anymore. Um, it's a female character that you don't feel comfortable with on an intimate level. It seems like you're moving on with this Knight of Cups. Because the Knight of Cups is someone that is in movement, that's in search, that is, you know, very generous with their heart, you know, with their love, with their speech, with their thoughts and things. They are looking for someone to talk to, someone to express their generosity, to share romance with, that they want to create with. Whatever it is is not where they're currently at. Whoever they're currently dating, whoever this Empress in the reverse be, could, excuse me, Whoever this empress in the reverse could be, it could just be someone that they're not attracted to anymore in a relationship or someone that they thought was attractive that really isn't. Like maybe on the outside, the person seemed one way, but looking in, they didn't necessarily like what they see. This is not someone that they feel is a fit mother or someone that they want to raise kids with or someone that they see a uh, future with. Like the empress in the reverse, she is someone that would have to change a whole lot about herself in order for this person to feel like they would want to be married to her. Like the Empress in the upright is someone that keeps a beautiful home, that takes care of her kids, that is always doing something creative, bringing life into existence, taking care of plants, taking care of animals, taking care of the universe. She's like the mother of all, the mother of the universe. The Empress in the reverse is someone that's unkept, that could let her body get out of shape. You know what I'm saying? Um, it don't even necessarily I mean you could be flick, uh, uh, thick, fluffy, and beautiful. That don't mean you thick, fluffy, and nasty and out of shape looking. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, the Empress in the Reverse is someone who isn't taking good care of her body, not keeping her hair done. Um, house is, or oh shit, you could look beautiful, but your house dirty. Your kids dirty. You ain't paying attention to your kids. Like you ain't washing no dishes. You don't be cooking. You you not cook like you know what I'm saying. You not trying to be a lady. You know 
So, and again, like I said, do not shoot the messenger. If you guys are cross-watching and you're dealing with a male Pisces, if that hurts your feelings, I'm so sorry. Again, do not shoot the messenger. But that is how whoever this individual feels. This person feels that they feel shivers. They feel ready to talk to other people and explore and, you know, experience other things. It's something about them having some indecisiveness about moving on. Um, they're still in some type of conflict or battle about either what to say to this person or um, actually taking the action of getting up and moving beyond this person because the two of swords is someone who could be sitting down and that sat that stagnant and just thinking about their choices you know what I'm saying not ready to make a decision you know not ready to make a decision you guys have definitely stepped up and come to some type of spiritual awareness it may take the shaking of a new hand here that may make you stand up for what you feel like you need to fight for. So let's see. Let's see. Clarify the carrot, the lily, and the eye. You got the queen of pentacles. You have the stars. And then you have the Ace of Wands. So this is definitely a new path here. You guys know your purpose. Like you feel very good about yourself. You've been wishing on a star. Wishing on a star. This is a lot of wishes. This is a lot of faith. This is a lot of hope. You guys are looking for someone that's like I said, a good mother. Cleanliness is I don't I'm really getting like someone don't be they be keeping their house dirty. I'm serious. Like the Queen of Pentacles is someone that is constantly cooking. She's a she's a housewoman. She don't always be out in the streets doing a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Dating around. This is typically a married woman. She's always barefoot and pregnant. She keeps a very clean, a very luxurious environment. Very nice clothes. You walk into her house, it smells like cookies and flowers and stuff. She's always, if she's not in an apron in the kitchen, she's in a very fluffy, comfortable robe. Like her furniture is beautiful. Like the, the, the couch is so comfortable. You just want to lay down and go to sleep on it. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that she is, is just, it just expresses beauty and earthly qualities. This is someone that you want to bring home to your mother. This is someone that your mother would want to move into her house and be and live with her. Like, this is what this person has been wishing for. Like, someone that they can start a new beginning with. Someone that they can, like, focus on their dreams, be very passionate with. Someone that they, uh, like, spark some type of interest and excitement about them. Someone that kind of gets their engine going, you know? And again, this is like the one. Like, mm, they, they just said that I'm not looking for a replacement. I'm looking for forever. They, the Pisces just said, it's the forever for me. Okay? I'm not looking for no replacement. It's the forever for me. So, this Queen of Pentacles, I like how she has the Three of Pentacles right there. This one is very smart, extremely educated. Uh, she's so smart that she can homeschool her kids type of thing. She can run like a homeschooling type of thing in her house. She can even have a daycare and, and, and take care of other people's kids. Always educating people and always studying and learning something herself. Always studying something herself. Like, it was luck. An opportunity of luck or a windfall. It's like, I don't even think that this type of connection, because remember this is, we said this is somebody wishing for something, a star. And this woman could be a, a star. I don't know, she could have some type of spiritual career. She could work in a, you know, she could be a reader. She could do Reiki, you know, she could do, you know, be a spiritual advisor. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? This is a spiritual love. This is a spiritual connection. I definitely feel you yourself are highly intuitive. And the person that you're talking to 
can have a very keen eye and intuition as well. It's some level of like spiritual magic here between the two people, especially because it says the spiritual connection. You got the wand. Like this wand is a lot of times it can represent sex, but a lot of times it can literally represent chemistry. It represents chemistry, bruh. Like on all levels. Big chemistry. Big chemistry. Let's keep going with the T cards. I'll clarify in a little bit. Give me three more cards. Ooh. Okay. You got the wind chimes. Peace and harmony. I'm loving this, Pisces. The cups. You should accept valid criticism. Whoever it was in these days talking about cleaning up their house. Listen. <laughs> y'all know it ain't hurt my feelings. I'm just telling y'all what, what it is. And then you got the gavel. Involvement with the law. So there's going to be some harmony. It's like what happened. Y'all just said what happened needed to happen. I don't know if someone just got put on child support. If someone just had like a settlement in regards to the outcome. A custody. Like I said, a custody child support hearing. Um... They're saying like a development in an insurance settlement case or something. But it's something where someone is having to eat. It's like eat some harsh words in some way where someone is telling them about their self. It's like everything happened the way that it should have. It's like a fair settlement. Everyone is getting a fair settlement. You know, depending on what was presented in the court and how you represented yourself. So if the evidence that was put against you made it made you look a little bit bad, but at the same time you didn't deserve for the whole book to be thrown at you, you're being, you know, your judgment came out eat you exactly what you should have got in you know, in light of the situation. So I just feel like someone is glad that it's over, it's settled. You understand what the judge was saying because it was a lot of things that you could have did to prevent yourself from being in this situation. But you're definitely more happy than ever that whatever this thing is addressed and is over. I got to pay a certain amount of amount of money a month. I get to pick up my kids every other weekend and then we do alternating um, every two weeks on the summertime and alternating holidays. Like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. I ain't even tripping. I don't mind paying you little child support or whatever. Shit. Just take care of my damn kids. It's like I don't have to fuss and argue with you. You ain't got to call me for shit. When I beep the horn, y'all know what time I'm coming. Send my kids outside. I'm about to get these kids a cell phone. It's, it's cool. We cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are so cool. What is this? The scales. Keeping your life in balance. Come on, Pisces. Listen. The owl. Good advice from a wise person. Like, whatever that criticism was, it was what you needed to hear. Because why are you even having unnecessary conversations with this person? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you just don't have to. It's just a shield. You need to defend yourself. What is going on, bro? Cause I'm, cause like I'm like I don't even feel like, like why am I even? Because of this empress in the reverse, this empress in the reverse, bro. You got the empress in the reverse, and then you got a queen of pentacles, bro. And you're definitely leaving that situation. You like you don't want to be there anymore, and that's on God. That's what I know. Let's try the wind chimes, the cup, the gavel, peace and harmony. You should accept valid criticism and involvement with the law. Again, judgment. The six of wands, so this recognition. And then the four of cups. Okay, so you guys are being called to show your skills, to impress the boss or to impress the leader. Like to me, that I, I feel like that's God calling you to show your skills. Seriously. 
It's like that's what you're known for is your God-given talent, like your purpose in life. Somehow it's with this four cups. You feel like you've been passed over. Like no one has been kind of like paying you attention and been offering you what you feel like you really deserved. Um, again, I feel like it's overlooked. You feel like you've been overlooked. You could have been bored with what is continuously being offered to you. It's like I've done that before. I'm ready to be a star. I'm ready to... Why am I getting it's like you finally were able to break some contract by law where you can be free to do what you want to do. Um, I want to say that there were offers coming to you with just four cups, but you had to reject it legally because you had an obligation. And now that that situation is kind of done and over with. With that judgment, you know what I'm saying? With this judgment right here, baby. With this judgment right here. It's your time to be a star now. It's like it's your time to show and prove. It's like it's time for you to stand up to your calling. It's your time to shine with that sense of wands. Whoever this is, Pisces, especially if there was like some type of legal contract that was keeping you back where you could not show people your aptitude and how blessed you are in whatever field it is that you will create that you creatively flourish in. Whatever contracts, whatever agreements that were bounding you is being removed and you can finally pay attention to what's being offered to you now because it's like before you couldn't pay attention to it and now it's like with this knight of cups you're with an open heart like being encouraged and almost pushed to go towards what it is that you really want in life because you don't it's like i don't want Someone that act like my mother. I don't know if like your mother used to be. If this was your mother. You know the person that. Don't keep a clean and a happy home. And just. It's like you could have grown up. with a, a, In a rough lifestyle. In a rough house. Or something. And. Making a decision not to live that way. The new people that are coming into your life, they are way different than that. And it's like you with this bull standing up for yourself and not backing down from opposition. If it's someone that you're attracted to or someone that you don't feel is fit for that role in that position in your life as your woman, you're not going with it. You want a queen of pentacles. You want someone that can help educate you. You want someone that's a star like you. You want everything that you've been wishing for. You want this new beginnings. You want to be acknowledged. You want to be celebrated. You want people to understand your vision and kind of like give you that clap, that round of applause, a standing ovation for your talent, for your gifts, for your work. It's like you want to be acknowledged. You don't want to be constantly passed up over some stupid rigmarole. It's like because other people are like forced. Why am I getting like someone got blackballed in the industry? It was like, I don't know, like a spell has been lifted or, or, or it's like a spell or a curse or a, uh, uh, because to me, for someone to blackball someone, it's like, what the fuck type of power of manipulation do y'all bitches have over this big ass group of people where just because you don't like me, you could get a whole fucking industry to not work with me? Really? What type, type of hoodoo voodoo do you do? Like, really? Y'all got power like that? And again, it's like someone being passed up, passed up. And it's like, baby, your little block, your little manipulation, your little tricks, whatever it was, is being lifted. Because 
legally I can leave free and clear I don't have to look for your recognition I don't have to shake hands with you folks anymore like all these like I know and I'm standing up for myself like y'all try to blackball me y'all try to sabotage me you had to you know you try to have some like unnecessary power and control I want this this is what I am praying for this is what I want this is what I'm wishing for I'm getting it and you're not going to get in the way with me I don't give a fuck what you say or who you talk to I'll move around you I'll move to a different atmosphere you can't control everything you see what I'm saying so hmm. I don't even know why I just had to go off like that but I had to go off like that come on Pisces Pisces don't play with them okay clarify because the shield I'm like why am I going off like that the shield it says you need to defend yourself yo alright clarify the scales the owl and the shield please you got the hermit you have the knight of wands and then you got the Libra scale in the reverse. This is the Temperance card. Hmm. Hmm. It, with the, cause it's, it's the shield with this Temperance card in the reverse that's bothering my nigga. That 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 shit's bothering me because it's some some reason you feel like you need to protect yourself. Something ain't. Something has been feeling off balance here. And you know it. You know it. Something ain't right. Something's wrong. I want to say something is a little bit mysterious about this situation here. Again, like I'm saying, I'm feeling like someone's being blackballed, blacklisted. Or it's like being put out to dry in a situation. Um, This hermit with the owl. The good advice from a wise person. It's like someone that you know would just like, please go inside for a little bit. I want to tell you, like, stop hanging outside for some reason. It's like, go inside and be unseen for a second. It's like, because people going to start to squirm. It's like, it's something about people don't, when people don't see you, that's when they start asking questions and squirming goes about again you see how this owl you see these piercing eyes Pisces I'm being urged to tell you to go inside stay still and watch it's like that watchful eye y'all I'm trying to tell you you are gonna be able to see you are going to be able to see what I'm talking about. Are you going to be able to see what I'm talking about? Don't lose your faith in a situation. It's something that's trying to like get in your energy to make you feel unconfident, to make you feel like your outlook is meek. It's not bright. Like, you know. People continuously pass you by. You're not receiving the offer that you think that you should have. Like, you know, they want you to feel unsatisfied with life and not at peace in some type of way. Just feel unfulfilled. That's what I'm getting. It's like someone really want you to feel that way that's why I'm like being told to tell you to protect your energy hold on to your faith don't let nothing break your faith because once you start to lose faith you start to lose your power and you allow whoever this is to win you have to keep this shit balanced you see how you got the two Libra scales? You got to keep yourself balanced. Because one hand washes the other. One source feeds the other. If one is going low, the other one is going low too. 
Do you understand? You don't have no time to be allowing yourself to be operating on any type of low frequency at all. That's why God is trying to tell you to go inside, go within, think about it. Think about who could be against you right now, who is trying to blackball you, wish negative energy on you, and wish them the fuck away. And life moves on. Continue to get your ass up. Once you get inside, dust yourself off. Do you a quick cleansing. Sweeten yourself back up so you can go back outside and attract what you want. Carry your ass outside and keep it the fuck moving. Don't let nothing or nobody get in your way. Don't let nothing or nobody tell you where you can go, how you can go, or when you can get the fuck moving. If I want to go in the house and sit down, I'm going to go in the house because I want to sit down because I want to sit down. If I want to go outside and if I say I want to do this and I want to achieve that and I want to date this person, I want this because I want to fucking do it. You know, don't ever let nobody beat you or get into your energy or tell you what, when, how, and who you deserve. It's my destiny. It's my destiny. It's, dest it's my destiny. It's my future. And I'm taking my power. And I'm reclaiming victory. And I'm putting that shit in my hands. It ain't yours. Can't nobody blackball nobody. Your power ain't that strong. Your gift ain't that powerful. I promise you. I promise you. And it's like once you go inside, you'll figure out what or who I'm talking about. Keep yourself balanced and protect yourself at all times and defend yourself at all times. And again, because it's like I'm not coming from nowhere with this energy to me telling y'all to like have certain people back the fuck up that you ain't trying to deal with. And again, I don't know why I'm getting it's this empress right here in the reverse. It says do not back down from opposition. Show your strength and fortitude. And who was that sitting right beneath this empress in the reverse? It's either your mother, your baby mother, someone that you didn't feel was fit to be in a relationship with or something like that. It's like a jealous type of individual for some type of reason or whatever. And it's like you got so much shit coming to you. You got the opportunity or windfall with the carrot. You got the spiritual love. You got the psychic ability. Trust your intuition. You know exactly who's who and what's what. You got a queen of pentacles and you got an empress in the reverse. Those are the only two characters that I see here. So we're not playing in the game of fantasy and make-believe. Y'all know exactly who these people are in your life. So let's get some clarification. Okay. Clarify for me the torch, the handshake, the bull, the knight of cups, the two of swords, the empress in the reverse, the wind child, the cup, the gavel, the six of wands, the judgment, and the four cups. Give me one card, please. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot more than one damn card, but it's okay. I'm going to take it. So, we got the King of Cups here. There you go, Pisces. Look at you resting and chilling and stuff like that. Listen, you just in your complete ambiance of peace and just like, you know, sanctitude and stuff. You all scented and everything with your beautiful self. You got the Three of Cups. Everything is coming your way very delightfully. It's almost like love and opportunities have been pouring down from the sky. You've been getting invited to a lot of, you know, um, places, a lot of invitation to um, opportunities where you can get to know and meet new people, go out and socialize, rub elbows, make new friends, meet up with old colleagues and things that you ain't seen in years. Like, things is good. And then you got the Queen of Cups. So this is like some soulmate thing. This is like a chance meeting. And then you got the Prince of Cups. Hmm. Interesting here. Very interesting. So what this is telling me is like, 
Pisces, right now y'all been kicking back, putting your feet up. I feel like you've been relaxing, just enjoying your life. There's a lot of new opportunities that have been pouring in. And like I said, you've been expressing yourself in such a way where there's a lot of people that want to be around you, that just want to hang around you. And you could have been doing a lot. I want to say, even throughout the whole corona thing, um, it's been giving you a blessed opportunity to rest because I want to say that you're, you're a constant, you're, like you're a mover and a shaker. You're at every party or you could be an entertainer or something like that. Um, it's like your lifestyle revolves around being around big groups of people for some reason. I want to say like entertainer. Um, like you could be a club promoter. I feel like you guys sleep during the day for whatever reason. I feel like you guys party at night and sleep during the day but like you socializing and networking and putting people together all for one cause or one purpose like that's your that's your job you understand what I'm saying so you guys may be tired from a lot of socializing and meeting and connecting people together I feel like you are a uh, consultant or some type of way and I feel like I feel like at some type of party or an engagement or um, a meeting like this could have been a meeting or something like that. No, I, I kind of take like a three of pentacles as a meeting. I take a three of pentacles as a school. No, this could be a meeting. This could have been like a business luncheon or um, a business dinner or something like that. Again, I'm still getting like social networking or some type of meeting it could have been like a social networking meeting not like a serious type of thing but like you could have met someone through like social network engagement it's some beautiful woman she's just like you a water sign of cancer pisces scorpio and she's been looking for the sun i want to say this woman could be a <laughs> aggressive drinker a little bit because do you see how she is looking like she's like it's like she's looking for a drink or she could have been looking for some type of emotional fulfillment or somebody to fill her cup and you see that sun in the background so it's like she could have been looking for someone to engage with to fill her cup in some way you got the page of cups I mean, not the Page of Cups. This is like the Knight of Cups. This is the Prince of Cups. So the Prince of Cups. I take this as ever two, two situations. This could either be her son. This could either be her son your son or y'all's son there could be um because we are talking about the empress and the queen of pentacles here hmm so it could be one of two things this could be you guys, you it's like you and the Empress in the reverse having to come together for a social event, a party for your son who is the Prince of Cups. Um, it could it could be Christmas. I don't I'm not really seeing Christmas, but it's something for everyone is getting together for one cause. It could very much so be Christmas, but I don't necessarily see you being highly engaged in it. That's why I'm like I'm I don't want to think that it's a birthday party it could be a Christmas party or something like that who the fuck knows but it's something where everyone is coming together you guys are you're not engaged at all 
with this party. I, I feel like you're tired. This woman is looking for something to drink. And then this little guy is just sitting there being receptive to all of the love. So. And again, like. Watch out for the If this is you having to come together with like your soulmate or something like that. Watch out because, again, I feel like this woman might get too full up off of some drinks or something like that. Especially if this is someone that you already know that's your child's mother. She may say something to you about you not engaging and you not being as... Because if you look at this card, you see how you got the moon right there and the sun kind of behind it. So that's why I'm saying I think that you like you guys are this boy's parent or something like that. And I want y'all to just be able to get along just to be able to take care of your son. Make sure that your son is celebrated. Make sure that your son has everything that he needs and that no needs are unmet. Um, I feel like you guys could be tired of dealing with this woman because of her constant emotional needs or something like that. And that's causing a problem for you. You just want everybody to come together just for like this one cause. Just to be able to do something for your son. That's for you guys that have a relationship where there is a child involved. Like I said, it could be your... Uh, kid's mother that you, 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 you're trying to move on from. If that's not the situation, uh, even though you guys need to be well rested, I definitely feel like you're tired. There's one more engagement that you're probably going to end up going to. You're probably not going to think nothing of it, honestly, because you're tired of fucking going out. It seems like for real, for real. But there's going to be like a counterpart here. There's going to be this queen of cups. And again, she's looking for someone to fill her cup. She's looking for some level of overfillment. She could be just dating princess at this point. And she needs a king. You know? She needs princess. I mean, she meets princess, but she needs a king. Because the princess don't have what it takes to fill her cup up. And she's desiring someone like you. I just feel like you're not paying attention. Because... I want to say you're sleeping on the job. Like you just need some time to rest well and take care of yourself. Give me guidance over here on the carrot, the lily, the eye, the queen of pentacles, the star, the ace. Okay. Okay. You got the Seven of Cups. You guys have been going through some type of soul searching. You're not in the business of making wrong decisions and making wrong choices over and over again. So it's like you know exactly what you want and what you desire. You got the Nine of Wands in the reverse. You're not really trying to get caught off guard. Engaging in any type of unnecessary arguments, dealing with people that are being combative, that just like to just nitpick and want to have something to fuss and cuss about. You know what I'm saying? You're fucking tired. You're tired. Again, I was motherfucking tired. I was motherfucking tired. You know what I'm saying? But if I got to get up into fight or battle again, I'll do it. But I'm not going to fight a losing battle. I'm not going to sit there and be getting beat up on neither. You got the morning card. So this is that bonus card that we were talking about. This is talking about a new day. A sunrise. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a every single day the sun rises and you get a chance to start over with a fresh set of eyes. Fresh set of energy with intentions and do something over again. So it's like... I'm not going to continue to beat myself up. I'm not going to let no one beat up on me neither. You understand? I have to decide what battles are worth fighting. This could be a windfall or a great opportunity. And it's only if I keep making the decision to keep going back to bullshit and picking up battles and picking up sticks and fighting for shit that is not worth my energy. I'd rather rest and wake up in the morning 
feeling refreshed with some blessed energy. Well, I could recreate my life all over again. And seven of wands, I'm standing up for myself. I will not be victimized. I will not be misused. I will not be abused. I'm going to rest on it. I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to wake up with refreshed eyes, with refreshed energy here. Again, I, I feel like someone's sleep, someone's tired, someone's tired of dealing with some type of combat. We don't have to be in like a verbal or mental combat all the time. Okay, goodness gracious. We got a younger woman here. You got a pig. Beware of greed. You got the horseshoe. Good luck. And then you got the reef. Sorrow over a loss. So. so okay. So, you got a younger woman here. Alright? So, you got the Empress. When I, I think, if I'm comparing the Empress between a Queen of Pentacles, the Empress is the older woman. The Queen of Pentacles is the younger woman here. So, you guys are dealing with a younger woman. And you could be a little greedy right now. So beware of your greed. It, you can't start one relationship until you close another. So close your eyes. Put it to rest. Don't be indecisive because you got two different options that you're fighting in your head about. If you're not comfortable with this woman, leave her the fuck alone. I'm serious. You're not doing nothing but causing yourself drama. You're not doing nothing but causing yourself drama and then you're going to be wondering later, well, why is all of this negative energy coming to me? Why um, all of this shit is going on and blah, blah, blah. It could be because you created it. You know, if you are not comfortable, excuse me, do not back down from opposition. Tell someone, listen, I don't want to be in this relationship no more. I'm just in this for the kids. All right. If you need something, I'm here for you. But other than that, like, I'm completely sleep on it. I don't want to argue with you. I don't want to come home to a nasty home. Like, I want to come home to someone that has her hair done, that acts like she's actually enjoying life. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Like, I'm just, I'm not, like, we ain't even got to do this. We ain't got to do this. We do not have to do this. I want to be with someone that acknowledges me, that pats me on my back, that tells me job well done, that tells me that they love me, that shows me that they love me. When I come home, like, I'm being appreciated to a warm meal in a clean house. Is that too much to ask for? Huh? I gotta go date a younger girl to get that? Like, you're too old to, like, you're too old to, you know better. You know? Beware of greed, but I definitely feel like it's going to be your lucky day because y'all are definitely meeting exactly what you've been praying God or what you've been asking for. It may be in the form of a younger woman. Don't give up hope. Don't worry about being blackballed or blacklisted. Like you got everything that you want. There will be some sorrow. Oh, some some sour. There will be some sorrow over a loss, but again. Everyone will be okay. Okay. So let's clarify this real quick. Clarify the younger woman, the pig, the horseshoe, the reef. You got the fool in the reverse. So you're no fool. You definitely understand the consequences and the repercussions of what could happen. Mixing old with the new. You know it. You got the Knight of Cups, Knight in Shining Armor, the Knight of Chivalry. Um, you know that your heart is destined and is longing for something that's going to keep and hold your attention. You want someone beautiful, beautiful, that is searching for the love that you've been trying to give, you know. You want someone that's going to wake you up. You want someone that's going to wake you up. So, um, you know exactly what you're destined to be doing and where you want to go. Again, this is that Knight of Cups again. 
You're in love with love. You were born with blood flowing all the way through your veins. You know? So it could just easily be at an engagement that you had no intention of going to. You were tired. You end up going into the kitchen just trying to refill your cup. Bumping into this beautiful person that you end up wanting to express love to for the rest of your life. Like this girl put the butterflies in your stomach. She make you realize what it was to feel young, free, and in love again. Where well, you're constantly wanting to express yourself to this individual. So, like, don't be no fool. If it's something that you need to walk away from, if it's something that you need to let go, I say let go. Protect yourself. Can't nobody blackball you but yourself. Stand up for yourself. Show people that, listen, I'm in control of my day. You don't control my day and you damn sure don't control my night. So don't nobody have authority over what is coming and going in your energy and in your life but you. Okay? Whatever sorrow is going on in your life let it pass this too shall pass but your lucky day is soon to come you know so the fool card is about walking out on faith trusting faith and trusting god and everything and, and i get that but at the same time it does literally mean not being a fool sometimes because there are certain people that with this fool in the in the upright they're too open. They're too trusting the things that they should be like knowing better. You know what I'm saying? Because you ever heard of blind faith? No, nah, you need to look at where you're going. Don't have blind faith. You know what I'm saying? Like God got you, but God don't want you to be no fool. Just because they say that God protects children and fools, that doesn't mean for you to be outright foolish. This is someone that knows that God protects children and fools, but I'm not no fool. I done been pulled and unplugged from the matrix. So I know about what goes up and what comes down karma. So I ain't no fool. And I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Someone needs to move on and search for somebody else. Okay? So Pisces, I love you. I see you guys in 2021. Y'all hit that like button. Show a little love down in the comment section. Peace.